New at five and only on six, a Seminole County senior. The 84 year old well known for picking up trash with her walker here. You've probably seen her has not been spotted for months. Her friends say she just disappeared one day. We first featured Miss Dean in our getting crime results segment last year. Now people are asking News 6 to get results and find Miss Dean. Well, News 6's Eric Von Anken has been investigating for weeks now on this. He's live in Oviedo where Miss Dean would walk every day. And Eric, you found her, right? Sort of, Matt. So I found out at least what happened to her. A Seminole County judge tells me that she is now in a different facility, a secret location being protected for her own safety by a court appointed guardian. Some investigators feel that a couple that would come here to visit her and was supposed to be taking care of her may have been doing exactly the opposite. The main road that runs through Oviedo, Red Bug Lake, had never been cleaner. Miss Dean, as she's called, would trudge three miles every day with her walker, grabber, and trash bag, picking up litter despite her osteoporosis from her home here at the Tremont Independent Living Facility. It practically made her famous. People called her the little old litter lady. Oh, well, we miss her because she's like a... Well, she has like a following of people that follow her. Until one day last month, she disappeared from the Tremont. An attorney, a priest, and a DCF worker took her away. She just all of a sudden was gone. We knew she wasn't sick, I asked. I said, is she sick? No. Everybody wants to know where she is. Court records show someone from her church was worried about her. She'd shrunk to 77 pounds and was afraid she was being taken advantage of. So DCF stepped in. Doctors determined she cannot take care of herself. And investigators allege the couple that was supposed to be taking care of her wasn't and may have been taking advantage of her generosity. They put themselves in a position to become multimillionaires, and they're trying to become multimillionaires before her death using her money. The attorney for Miss Dean's new court appointed guardian says the couple transferred her property to themselves for a fraction of what it's worth. They were paying themselves more than $14,000 a month for Miss Dean's accounts, and they changed her trust to give them all of her assets worth millions of dollars when she died. That trust was going to to colleges and other people other than them and eventually it kind of like evolved through multiple changes so they got everything more or less I talked to that couple today they say that they have done nothing wrong all they care about are Miss Dean's whereabouts and her well-being there is an active criminal investigation I'm told into what happened here and also a lawsuit to try and get the assets back from them there's no charges against them. That's why we are not naming them. Matt, we asked this attorney, can we see Miss Dean? He says she's doing better. Can her friends here see her? That part of the story when I see you again coming up tonight at 6. I'm sure she'd like some company at this point. Eric Von Anken, thank you.